Today is mine and my girlfriend's three year anniversary. I don't care if that wasn't grammatically correct, my girlfriend and I, whatever. Me and Leslie have been dating for three years. Technically, we talked for a year before I asked her to be my girlfriend, so technically it should say four year, but I asked her to be my girlfriend exactly three years ago. Now, for this year's anniversary, I definitely wanna show Leslie how much I truly appreciate her. Anniversaries are usually filled with materialistic gifts like flowers or chocolates, or maybe you go out to a nice dinner. But this year, I wanted to do something for Leslie that's over the top. Purses and heels are cool, but I wanted to give Leslie something that she actually really needs. For those of you who don't know, Leslie has been working at a woman's health hospital 11 to 12 hours every day Monday through Friday since the day that I met her. The worst part is Leslie has to wake up at 5 in the morning and she doesn't get home until the sun is about to go down and that's not even the end of her day because when she gets home she cooks, she cleans, she does the laundry, the dishes, all her daily stuff. Then while she's doing all that she's helping me with all of my stuff like filming videos, managing employees, brand deals, helping with video ideas, setting up sets, all that hard behind the scenes YouTuber stuff that you guys don't really see and by that time it's around 11 o'clock p.m. and Leslie has to go to sleep to wake up the next morning for work at 5 a.m. Leslie will never admit it but she's tired I can see it in her face she works a lot and she always has a beautiful glowing smile on her face that keeps me going every single day honestly I can't imagine how overwhelmed she is and how badly she just wants to lay down without having anything to do for the next 10 minutes. So I came up with a pretty crazy plan. I'm gonna retire my girlfriend today, right now. As of today, Leslie is not going to be working anymore. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy. I'm 24 years old and I'm gonna retire my girlfriend. Maybe that doesn't sound crazy. Maybe that's normal, especially now. People are doing crazy stuff, but I think that's pretty crazy. This is definitely a huge moment, but there's a problem. I've been trying to get Leslie to quit her job for the last four months and nothing. She will not do it, she refuses to do it. The main reason being that she's so caring. She sees how much I have on my plate and refuses to add anything onto that, AKA her bills and all the rest of that stuff. She always says that she would never feel okay with me taking over all her expenses. Her love for me has no limits. Even when she's feeling down, she puts all that to the side and makes sure that I am as happy as possible. And I see it every day and every night. Every time I tell Leslie to quit, she says, one day, baby, just not today. But I kind of have a life plan. It was to buy a house, retire Leslie, propose to her, and then we have a little Sherman and Leslie running around. Step one of my plan is done. Now it's time for step two. What Leslie doesn't know is I'm actually not taking no for an answer at all. And the plan to get her to quit is already in effect. Now you're probably wondering, Sherman, how are you going to get someone to quit their job when they literally told you they are not gonna quit their job? Well, you're just gonna have to wait and see. But for now, Leslie's about to be home in about 20 minutes and she's gonna see a little first surprise of the day that I have for her. Huge shout out to Luxury Balloons for setting all this up. But yeah, so let's begin this video. Three year anniversary, I cannot wait. Guys, even with all the stuff that Leslie has to do every day, she still decorates every single season of the year. <laughs> like these, this is for Valentine's Day. Look at this. Dude, she's literally the cutest human being alive. I don't know why she got this one, You Matter. She always tells me how much I don't matter, which is like crazy. But um, I don't know, I guess she's just fake flexing, but she's about to be here. She's actually in her car and I told her not to come in. So um, I think I'm gonna tell her to come in. Ready? Yeah. Take a look at your first surprise. Oh my. Happy three year. That's so beautiful. It's really my favorite color. <laughs> I love it. That's only surprise one of three. Three surprises? Yeah, there's three surprises. Like, this is like huge. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, we're literally in the middle of this video and Leslie, this door, no f way. And I never locked this. Ever? Like ever, no. I don't think we've ever locked No, we've never locked it. I don't think we've ever locked a door besides the master bedroom when we sleep in the front door. No, and it's not even like the ones that like- Like we don't have a key for that. Come here. Look, it's not like easy. Like you literally gotta grab it 
twist it. This is also the same room we heard something fall. Yeah. And I came in here and nothing was on the floor, like nothing. A little spooky moment for our anniversary. Um, that is super, super freaking weird. But again, like it just goes to show something is here. Guys, also, Leslie fell down the stairs, bro. <laughs> Dude, Leslie literally, oh my god. You see the bruise, that's why I punched you. But the, And dude. I was holding like the laptop. The laptop and something in my other hand, so I couldn't like put my hands out. I just like fell on my back. Yeah, so um, babe, I am going to take you somewhere, somewhere amazing. And you are going to be able to buy whatever you want. You choose whatever you want and I'll buy it. No limit, you, you have any two things ever. Two? Yeah, no limit. Two is my limit. <laughs> no, there is no limit. It's two things. There's no limit. That's so high. That's basically not a limit. <laughs> no, my there's limit's no li two. <laughs> it's limitless. Limitless. You mean, like, so we're price gonna, huh? Limit? <laughs> no, there is a price limit, but there's no limit with how many things you get as long as it's not more than two. <laughs> okay. Um, I've been playing this for a while as well. So, okay. do you want to know where we're going? Yes. You really want to know? <laughs> yeah. Because it's actually kind of crazy. No, please tell me, because okay. like I never prepare myself. To know what I'm gonna get. Okay, so I'll give you a trivia question. And this is the only hint that you're gonna get of where we are going. This is the most widely visited place in the whole world. Target. No, most commonly Walmart. used place ever. No. Like it's the most oh, common. Oh, like a grocery store. Nope. Okay, it's not Walmart. It's not Target. It's not a grocery store. Something like everyday practical. It's not the gas station, is it? The gas station. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, I'm craving a chocolate, but I was hoping like more like Walmart, Target. You could pick whatever you want. Take my card. <laughs> this isn't your card. Don't this show is it on cash. camera. Three, four. Wait, it's only four dollars. The chips are like four bucks go, now. Go get out of the car and go find what and you I want. And I can't use a two dollar bill, huh? so I have to save this. Okay. Okay. So while Leslie is at the gas station, let me tell you guys my plan to get her to quit her job. So what I did was I had my manager pose as the owner of a very successful clothing line and email Leslie offering her a job of one of the highest positions in the company. So I knew in my head that there was no way that Leslie could turn this down. The emails were so professionally written. It was honestly fire. And after just two emails, you guessed it. Leslie found out it was fake and blocked the account. She even came into my room laughing, telling me you won't believe what these people just tried to do. And I had to sit there and laugh with her while holding back actual tears thinking what am I gonna do next so I moved on to phase two I told Leslie that if she doesn't quit her job that I would post her phone number on Twitter that surprisingly didn't work so now we are on to the last final trick the Hail Mary the grand finale I did something absolutely crazy that you guys are literally not gonna believe but I did it for love, my love. But Leslie's about to be back from the gas station, her luxurious gift that I got her. And when she gets back, I can't be talking about this. So I'm gonna actually move this conversation to my room. Okay guys, so here's the plan. Leslie's dream has always been to be some sort of entrepreneur, business owner, and especially in the business of fashion. The amount of times that I have heard her and her sisters talk about clothes and making designs just for fun is ridiculous. I mean, here are just some of the most recent designs that they came up with. Okay, I'm just kidding, but it is something that they do. And to Leslie, it's just a dream, but come on, you guys know me. I'm an absolute psychopath when it comes to making my girlfriend smile. With the help of my genius, amazing manager, I literally opened my own clothing line that Leslie has no idea about. This has actually been in the works for a while. And what Leslie also doesn't know is that as much as I love fashion, she has a passion for fat. Okay, that was so stupid. But yeah, I need her to run the whole whole entire brand I literally open it just for her and for her to do that it's gonna take her to quit her job so I'm gonna reveal this to Leslie but in a cool way I'm actually gonna play trivia with her and okay I'm not gonna spoil the rest you guys will see right now okay guys so for our anniversary tradition me and Leslie like to play relationship trivia <laughs> And if you're wondering why I have this, it's because if you get a question wrong, you gotta take a shot. First of all, Leslie and I are both well over the age of 21, drink responsibly, and don't ever get behind the wheel of a car if you are consuming any type of alcohol. But with that being said, let's begin. Hopefully, actually, none of us are gonna drink. Okay. Woo-wee! Let's get it lubed up. Oh my god. 
Cool. So, would you like to go first, my Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I'm, I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? I'm gonna get them all right. I know you like the back of my foot. Okay, what two sports did I play in high school? Okay, if you never <laughs> told me them. Yes, I did. Um, you didn't play like lacrosse, right? No. no. Uh, okay, you just powder puff count? <laughs> yes. That, okay, that doesn't count as a sport. It was just an event. I don't care, it's still a sport. Okay, powder house. puff, so football, <laughs> apparently. Second sport, it is field hockey, but you didn't play that, obviously. <laughs> so obviously the only things left are, it's not lacrosse. No. You didn't play professional pool. What? I'm saying the things you didn't do. Okay, okay. <laughs> Volleyball. Yeah. Wasn't the one that you <laughs> No, yeah. you tricked what? me! What? What are you stupid? <laughs> Bro, I got it right. Volleyball, powder puff. All right, there you go. Hey, I'm one for one. All right. You're a cheater! Hey, you have a good question. Mine are dumb. What's my favorite bag of chips? <laughs> That's my first but, question. But, okay, it lemon hot Cheetos. Okay, we'll take that as an answer. <laughs> um, hot okay. Cheetos lime. But what is my middle name? <laughs> the Leslie's middle name is no, I'm gonna yes. make it louder. I'm gonna make it louder. <laughs> what is my favorite non-designer brand of clothing? Nike. Okay. What is my favorite ice cream flavor? Rainbow Sherber. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Who do I spend the most time on the phone with? Out of all my friends or anyone in general. Brian. No, that's wrong. <laughs> it's not Brian. Okay, check your phone right now. No, and I, how I long are to. those phone calls? You know what? Because I don't want you to get drunk. <laughs> I'm gonna give you another chance. Right. Okay, yeah, that's true, right. <laughs> okay, I gave you another chance. What's my zodiac sign? <laughs> oh! The moon? <laughs> or no, it's okay, not. Fine. It's No, I know, it's Gemini. Yeah. I, I already knew that. I, I had a vision of your cake from your birthday. What did it say? Like, Gemini's for life. <laughs> did not oh, Gemini say stand up. No, I did not say that. Gemini, we the, we the best. Gem, oh, Gemini Gymnastics. What is the first thing that I do when I wake up? Brush your teeth. Okay, yeah. What was I wearing when you first met me? It was a black dress with red and black Nike Dunks. Uh-huh. That's it? Yeah. Wait, you want me to tell you your underwear that you're wearing? I don't know. You don't know. Just don't play because y'all thought. Oh, okay, relax, relax. Fifth question, what's my biggest fear? <laughs> Spiders. This one's a good one too. What was the first thing you ever bought me in life? Ever, 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 ever. Jack in the Box milkshake. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure, Jack in the Box milkshake. <laughs> yeah? Exactly. Yeah. Right. Number six. Yeah. Out of your three, oh, I love this one. Out of your three best friends, which one is smart enough to catch on to a prank fastest? Gianna. So your three best friends are Gianna, Stephanie, and Blanca. Blanca. Out of them three, you think Gianna is the smartest and would catch on to a prank <laughs> yeah. fastest? How about you call her right now and you flirt with her and we'll see what she says. Gianna? Yeah, Gianna. Hello? 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 Hey, what up, Gianna? Hi. Hi, it's Leslie. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. It's, it's Sherman. <laughs> I know. Oh. Um, Gianna, I just wanted to say, like, I saw you driving the other day. You were looking... You did? <laughs> looking great. Don't start with this little prank. Okay. <laughs> All right, ready? Let's see. Mm. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. What's going on? What the fuck? Oh, hey, Blanca. How you? How you, you doing? You scared me. What, why did I scare you? Yeah. What up? Um, Blanca. I was saying like, uh, if there was any chance that you wanted to do something this weekend, I'm, I'm free. Where's my friend? Your friend? I'm. Your, am I not your friend, Blanca? <laughs> You are my friend, where's Leslie at? Leslie is indisposed at the moment. She's in the shower, I just grabbed her phone. Cause I was You're like, I gotta call Blanca right now. You know? You're such a liar. I'm not lying, Blanca, I swear. No. But why would I be lying? I'm serious, Put like, she's gonna have to know, you know? Put her on the phone. Nah, we were actually trying to see like, <laughs> who knew. Who would catch on to a prank quicker out of you? Blanca, you <laughs> should see his face! He's blood red right now! It's cause I'm drunk, bro! Your voice says it all. He sounds well, so sarcastic. Sarcastic? Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna try it on Stephanie, and I'm gonna take your notes. Okay, so Okay, thank good. you for participating, Blanca. 
Hello. Hey, Stephanie. Hi. Uh, what are you doing? Um, home. <laughs> you just sound great right now, Stephanie. Why? What happened? No, I was just saying, um, Liz is in the shower right now. I was just going through her phone. And I saw oh. she recently was on the phone with you. I just want to know, like, what's good, what you're up to. You relaxing at home? Yeah, I'm at home. Why? Nice, nice. Is there an open seat next to you that maybe I could partake in? Yeah, what's going on? No, just say hang out. Like, just, you know, oh. me and you. Just us together, what? you know? What? Are you what? okay? What is he doing? Is this a prank? Okay, what was that? 43 seconds. Okay, you were right, Gianna. <laughs> All right, uh, Stephanie, you actually did a horrible job. My last question is, wait here. No, no. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay, so for your final question, I have to ask you. Nervous. What is your dream job? <laughs> Why do you stare at me? I'm just asking. <laughs> like, what have you always talked about wanting to do? I want to run my own business. I want specifically clothing. Like, I want to run my own clothing business. Okay. We've never actually talked about that, right? No. Do you remember last month you and I made a design <clears throat> together? Yeah. The shorts with the hearts on them. Yeah. Don't move and don't look. Okay. <gasps> Wait, how did you get them so fast? Yeah. You like them? These are gonna be on camera? Yeah. I love them. Are they sick? They're so sick and the, exactly the hearts how we wanted. So do you remember um, I kept on asking you to quit your job? Yeah. And you said, no, I can't, not right now. Like you have too much stuff going on. I don't want to put all that responsibility on you. I'm not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> You're quitting your job. And I literally opened a clothing line and it's everything is blank. The name, the, the clothes on there. It's all blank and you're gonna take it over. Tomorrow, is, you're gonna quit. Is this a joke? No, this is 100% real. Are you, you are, are you I serious? am retiring you. Babe, you're done working. Are you, are you for real? Yeah. It's no, no, I can't accept yeah. that. I so I already told them how you keep on saying no. And um, I actually am not taking no for an answer. And I love you to death, to death. Wait. And you're literally <laughs> going to quit and you're gonna stay at home with me all day every single day and you're gonna make my dream occupation come yeah in. it already is and thank them for putting me in this position <laughs> i'm so grateful for you for them you crying you crying, <laughs> you crying bro cry. <laughs> guys i'm gonna go spend the rest of my anniversary with my boyfriend um <laughs> if you guys did enjoy this video leave a like comment down below if you guys want to see some of leslie's real clothing designs um i'm sure you're probably gonna make some on instagram or whatever it's all for you stop that's I love crazy you. Ugh, <laughs> lipstick man what the